So tell me this thing, Shreyas. Uh, one question I have: uh, Every student struggles with physics. Did you also struggle with physics? Yeah, yeah. Initially, I was in the negatives in physics. Like in the first test, I remember I I had scored minus three in physics, and then it started. Which is when? Like first... Which is when? Uh, which is when? In class eleventh? Yeah, towards the starting of class eleven. Starting of class eleven. Okay. And when did it start improving? Like towards the end of eleventh, I was in the plus hundred range in physics, and then oh. like towards the end of twelfth, it was always one fifty. And your final exam uh, score in NEET was one eighty. Yeah, yeah one eighty in physics. So what is the trick? If someone is watching uh, this video, a lot of students struggle with physics. Uh, what would be your recommendation to them? Just keep on practicing MCQs. There is no substitute for like solving MCQs. You have to solve them again and again. Like keep on solving. That's the only thing you can do in physics. Because reading the theory is not sufficient. You have to practice the questions and then the PYQs as well. Because this time, like the some of the questions were repeated from the PYQ. So physics practicing, nothing else. Like keep on practice, practicing. practice, practice, practice. Yeah, I'll tell people. Uh, I tell people that. Uh, The comfort you would have after practicing 15 questions in a chapter, the comfort would be double after practicing 30. Then it would be double after practicing 60. And the more you solve, more you'll start getting a feel. Okay, this is how you approach the question. This is how you interpret uh, any question. This is this is how you apply the formula. This is how you think in terms of okay, force is equal to six pi eta R V. I know pi 22 by seven. I have to find the radius. velocity this is how i can find out force this is how it's given and uh, you would slowly uh, uh, start getting a feel of it excellent any other advice you would give to the students uh, who are watching this video because uh, everyone wants to get the score that you have gotten uh, 700 out of 720 is extraordinary so uh, any particular uh, other advice so physics great keep solving don't give up you would find it tough but you keep solving and it would become easier good afternoon students we have shreyas shenoy with us from mangalore shreyas is scoring 700 700 and uh, his air is 326 so we are going to ask quick two questions which we have been asking from everyone who has scored 700 or above shreyas which four questions did you get wrong Uh, I got three questions incorrect from chemistry and one from bio, like the inbreeding in question. Bio? The inbreeding question, the section B, which I regret the most. Inbreeding question. Yeah, yeah. Did you uh, see the explanation of Dr. Sharma? Why? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I had like not completely uh, read the question, like like read the options. I yeah. just jumped on to the last option, thinking that it's, it might be correct, but. Pretended to be incorrect. So, sir, uh, three chemistry questions. Which one are these? Uh, one was the helium question, which was initially correct from the uh, first answer key, and then it turned out to be wrong. And then the other one was activation energy. Activation energy. Yeah, yeah. and third one was the uh, I think helium. That uh, this question, sir, that uh, phosphorus acid, phosphoric acid. Phosphorus, phosphoric. Okay. Got it. So, Shreyas, tell me this thing. Uh, when you have, when you would have come out of the exam, you must have been thinking, "Wow, this is cool. I got it really well." And then, when you got the rank, were you disappointed? Big time. Yeah, yeah. Um, like considering the new twenty twenty two trend, I had not like expected this like downfall in the rank. I had yeah. expected it to be somewhere like in top two hundred, like not yeah. top hundred. I mean, uh, Our student uh, got into Ames Delhi last year at seven hundred uh, score. Her rank was fifty, and you are right now saying seven hundred three twenty six. So that is, it is not a single digit inflation. This is like <laughs> inflation of <laughs> like Zimbabwe inflation. Yeah, yeah, it didn't even happen in twenty twenty one when when the paper was in September, and the paper was I think easier than me twenty twenty three. But this year it is like really bad. I mean, I don't know what will happen in twenty twenty four and twenty twenty five. Yeah. So, Shreyas, which colleges are you targeting? Uh, Jipma? No, I don't think, uh, sir. I'll get Jipma because it, I'm on the boundary line. Like, hmm. I think it's somewhere like three twenty 
330 yeah, so but uh, it depends uh, if people decide to go to aims bhopal or jodhpur rather than go to chipmar so things can happen so uh, yeah so uh, if you don't get chipmar then which colleges are you targeting uh, aims bhuvneshwar aims jodhpur yeah which you'll get easily good yeah. so shreyas uh, uh, you joined our catalyst batch it's called catalyst batch uh, or right, uh, right now it's called ignite batch in class 11 and when you come to class 12th it name its name becomes target batch so uh, and you also went to i should mention mention it cfal uh, center for advanced learning that's a coaching institute in mangalore so uh, you you went for classroom program there and uh, you were practicing questions from our platform what did you like uh, in terms of the questions from our platform the questions were like mainly mcrt based it was 100% from mcrt and they were mainly the questions which generally people ignore when they read the ncert today they were like hand picked really well i had ignored those lines when i had read the ncert for the first time and then when i saw those questions i was like oh this is a potential question which can come in the exam like you need to read every line like read between the lines don't read just read the line. you have to make question from every yeah and uh, you also uh, took our uh, test series book can you show it to the students ta ah, awesome file test series book 10 neat level test 10 aims level test so you decided to practice from the aims level test did you get beaten up badly what yeah, was the worst score I mean, that you got i think it was 548 <laughs> It included so, uh, 90. How did you feel that day? Did you did it uh, demotivate you completely or no? Yeah, 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 I mean, when you are getting in the 650 ranges consistently and you suddenly fall in the 500 ranges, it hurts you the most. I mean, if this happens in the like towards the end, you are like you just tend to procrastinate towards if you yeah. like read this. no we are uh, i am particularly happy that we have put out that book 10 neat level test and 10 aims level test because at the end of the day what happens is it also gives you a reality check you don't want that reality check in the exam it would rather happen before the exam and if you have to do any code you always have the option of just ignoring saying that ah, it's very difficult uh, not not worth doing but for some students it can become a challenge it can it can give you the motivation sometimes the motivation does not exist you're almost floating towards the exam right yeah i mean if you like tell that the papers are hard you shouldn't forget the neat 2022 paper like people suddenly ended up in the bad situation at that point the paper yeah. was really hard you should be ready for every challenge you can't expect anything and go like you can't just tell i'm going to score 700 and like go you should like expect for the worst and the best as correct so in this uh, uh, high uh, uh, high test series book in the aims level test which part was the most difficult physics was the most difficult no no i found the, all of them to be on the same all of them were hard yeah okay so tell me the thing shreya sir uh, one question i have uh, every student struggles with physics did you also struggle with physics Yeah, yeah, initially I was in the negatives in physics. Like in the first test, I remember I I had scored minus three in physics, and then it started. Which is when? Like, uh, which is when? Uh, which is when? In class eleventh? Yeah, towards the starting of class eleventh. Starting of class eleventh. Okay. And when did it start improving? Like towards the end of eleventh, I was in the plus hundred range in physics. and then oh. like towards the end of 12th it was always 150 and your final exam uh, score in neat was 180 yeah 180 in physics so what is the trick if someone is watching uh, this video a lot of students struggle with physics uh, what would be your recommendation to them just keep on practicing mcqs there is no substitute for like solving mcqs you have to solve them again and again like keep on solving that's the only thing you can do in physics because reading the theory is not sufficient you have to practice the questions and then the pyqs as well because this time like the some of the questions were repeated from the pyq so physics practicing nothing else like 
keep on practice 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 practice, practice. yeah i'll tell people uh, i tell people that uh, the comfort you would have after practicing 15 questions in a chapter the comfort would be double after practicing 30 then it would be double after practicing 60 and the more you solve more you'll start getting a feel okay this is how you approach the question this is how you interpret uh, any question this is this is how you apply the formula this is how you think in terms of okay force is equal to 6 pi eta rb i know pi 22 by 7 i have to find the radius velocity this is how i can find out force this is how it's given and uh, you would slowly uh, uh, start getting a feel of it excellent any other advice you would give to the students uh, who are watching this video because uh, everyone wants to get the score that you have gotten uh, 700 out of 720 is extraordinary so uh, any particular uh, other advice so physics great keep solving don't give up you would find it tough but you keep solving and it would become easier what else like don't see the scores always like you just have to keep on writing the test and just analyze them because writing the test is as important as analyzing them because without analysis you won't come to know about your mistakes and what you don't know you have to keep on writing the test your scores will gradually improve because i remember i had never scored 700 plus in any of the mocks once i had scored 695 once 690 uh, yeah. most of the times it was 600 plus but not always 675 Hmm. So you got a prize money in almost all of our uh, high yield tests, which were part of the target batch, or uh, rather, uh, and you can call it catalyst batch as well. Now, uh, when you finally wrote the NEET exam, was the paper similar to the kind of mock tests you were writing, or it was completely different? It was easier than the AIMS level paper. When I saw the physics section, I was like, "Wow, it's in my favor." This time. Like, and then bio took a bit of time, but I was able to solve them because I had practiced the assertion reason questions very well, like twenty per chapter for bio, more than twenty per yeah. chapter. And I had even seen the hard type of assertion reason questions from N K Sharma sir's uh, the true false. Uh, yeah, 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 that was a nasty one. True false thing was nasty one. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, when I saw that most of the people are getting out of out in that, I was like, how can we get that? I mean, you can't get everything correct. I was like very low in that. Yeah. Good. So, uh, uh, students, uh, uh, this is this is Shreyas Shinoy for you. Uh, score seven hundred, rank three twenty six. uh shares uh, you are targeting jipmer and if you don't get jipmer then you'll uh, look at other aims fantastic your parents are extremely happy they have uh, they have distributed sweets all over the place uh, the the whole mangalore city is going to die of diabetes what is happening when initially like it was a chill mood like when the results were out and then my dad and my mom both were happy the full family celebrated that was a big like celebration yeah very good she has joined our uh, target batch which is also called catalyst batch in class 11 uh, he studied at cfal center for advanced learning at mangalore and uh, she has we are extremely proud thank you so much for this interview i hope people understand uh, he has specifically mentioned two things in this video i want to remind all of you one don't give up on physics people are not comfortable in physics but you will develop comfort as you practice more and more questions and there is no shortcut to it second thing is when you are writing tests you should uh, do proper analysis after the test and you should do proper revision before the test otherwise the test is not reflecting your true performance you would be like ah oh, i would have done it if i remembered no one stopped you from remembering it just give proper time for revision before attempting the mock test so shares uh, one final question that i have for you is when did you get, start getting a feel that you are going to get a good score uh it it cannot be right at the start of your preparation in class 11th so when did you start getting a feel your preparation is in tip top phase when i wrote the neat 2022 gangnagar paper i had scored 695 in that that was when, when i write, thought like when did you write that i think it was 3 weeks uh, before me finally that's when you got the confidence uh, you are on the right path you can expect something big yeah
Did you go and tell your parents that uh, you don't know who has been uh, living around here? You will find out after the exam how big I am. Yeah, I mean, they thought that I had the potential to score, but I myself like didn't knew I could do that. Shreyas wrote Ganga Nagar paper. All of those papers are available, by the way, in Catalyst and Target batch. Actually, Shreyas, uh, we whenever a re-exam or a new exam we come across, I was surprised. that they gave a different paper to abroad students as soon as we found out we arranged that paper uh, recorded all the video solutions put it there similarly for gangnagar and now we are in the process of doing it for manipur paper so that everything is available at one place that is the idea that if you join catalyst or target uh, uh, you call it target batch now it should be a complete thing you study from wherever you want but uh, for question practice and uh, uh, testing it should be complete so thank you so much uh, shares it was a pleasure talking to you Thank you very much.